Hey guys, uh, it is 12.11 a.m., which means it is April 24th, which is a Sunday, and, you know, uh, to, it, I guess, well, earlier Saturday, we went down to Fateville, went shopping, I got some crickets for the black speckled salamander or a slimy salamander uh, which I caught uh, well actually he caught me because he ran towards me but anyways uh, when coming back from uh, Fayetteville we saw a biker a f few bikers they land we saw the bike tipped over on the side of the road and a lot, a lot of people came to help the guy was okay I mean he could talk and everything but he his head was so bloody and stuff but anyways um and then just hung out with this homeless kid uh he sleeps at the um at Black Bass Lake uh he doesn't have a tent or anything but I think it's cool because he just walks around the town and everything and he's, he's pretty nice he's like 24 I believe his name's Lucas, but um, anyways, and then today, we were looking for some copperheads, and then we found three ring-necked snakes and a tiny uh, baby uh, black speckled salamander or slimy salamander in the crevices of the cliffs of the overhangs, and here they are, right here. There's one right there. There's one ring neck snake. They're pretty big. There's like a small one, medium, and big one. There's one right there. Then another one is under the log. There's the salamander right there, back there. There are three ring neck snakes. I'm actually gonna let them go. Uh, I'm gonna let the ring neck snakes go and keep the salamander. The salamander is actually eating the crickets, which is good. And so I'll keep him for a while, then I might let him go. Uh, but that they're pretty big, they're pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let, let's let's let him go. It's hard to get them out of here. There's two of them, and then the third one is under the log right here. So I'll try to get them out. Looks like they want to get out, so I'll, I'll let them go. Uh, hey guys, um, I am going to let these these three ring neck snakes that I caught at Black Bass Lake. I'm going to let them go because I do not need to keep them. Plus, they need to stay in their natural habitat. Plus, they're too small to keep. So, the bigger snakes like ball pythons and all those other big snakes, they're easier to keep. Uh, but anyhow, I'm going to let them go. All right, let's let them go. We can let them go in the garden right here, so they can, I don't know if you can see, let me, let me see if I can grab the flashlight. Uh, look at all those bugs, moths, June bugs, tiny bugs, I mean, bugs just everywhere. I'm just going to try to do this carefully. Uh, okay, we're going to let them go right here. If I can, right, here we go. You ready? Go on, buddies. You're free. There's two. Go on. There's two right there, and the other one went somewhere. He's probably under the leaves right here. He's gone now. But the other two, they're right here. There they are. See? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Beautiful snakes. Uh, ring neck snakes, they eat bugs, like, I mean, they don't, they only get, like, about, I don't know, four inches long, five inches long, uh, maybe six inches long, but, um, uh, they're, they're beautiful, uh, cute, too, there's one, go on, buddy, and then the other one's over here, oh, there he is, I don't know where the, I don't know where the, uh, third one went, he went somewhere over there. But anyways, there they go. Let's, let's 
cool. Yeah, they're gone now. Cool. But like I said, uh, let me just leave the flashlight on. Uh, Saturday, it's Sunday now, but uh, because it's early morning. But uh, Saturday, uh, not much. Just went to Fayetteville and then came back. Saw a uh, motorcycle crash. Helped the guy. Get his, and his other people stopped, and he he hopefully he's doing okay. Uh, I uh, he just had he said he had a headache, but all that blood was just gushing down. But anyways, hope he's okay. And then just, yeah, just hung out with this homeless guy. He's about 24 years old. His name's Lucas Scaro. He's pretty cool. Uh, just he walks around the uh, neighborhood like every day. Walks downtown and, wa and he sleeps actually uh, at Black Bass Lake under the overhang of the cliffs. And I I don't know how he does it, but I mean yeah, I, I, <laughs> he doesn't have a tent or anything, just a blanket. And uh, he's he's pretty cool. But uh, I was gonna spend the night camp out with him, but he was like, nah. I mean, and I was like, you know, I should probably get home too. And I mean, so anyways. You guys, thank you so much for sticking with me, and thank you so much for the love and support. You guys know who you are. Nobody can change that. Don't let anybody bring you down. Keep moving forward. The past is the past. Keep thinking positive. Keep smiling. You guys are beautiful, one of a kind. Live and let live.